Good morning, Crucible goers. I am jamming a game this morning with the man Dan from Sanctimonious Podcast while I enjoy my coffee. Later start today. I think he's going uh, with his uh, his good deck. I'm trying the one I won last night when I went 4-0 in a sealed tournament at One Stop Shop. And um, yeah, I'm going to see how this one rolls. Hopefully I don't get uh, beat down too badly. Let's see how this plays out. All right. Um, yeah, I like this hand. Wonder if me playing the speed sigil helps him though. We'll see. Alright, so I rocked the speed sigil to start with, and he definitely took advantage of that right away, but that's okay. I got my own shenanigans here. So, um, right, draw a card. So you could only reap. And do I want to set up my Mars right now? Hmm. I wonder if I should just take these dudes out because they're going to come in right away or steal. Yeah, let's go with the, uh, I want to go with the Mars thing here actually. So I went with the Mars lineup against him because his things come from fighting and so I'm not letting him fight at the moment, but let's see if that actually bites me in the butt. Oh wow. Yep. He's going very fast. Dose. Ghostly hands. Okie dokie. That was fun. So I can steal one. Potentially two. <laughs> it's got the jokes today. Um, hmm. So I can steal one there. Oh yeah, I can. There we go. Okay, so I can go shadows. I, he's gonna forge. Uh, there's no way I can stop that but I'm going to Nerve Blast to start with. And unfortunately that's all I can do, but I got my hand out, so no bonus Ember for him. Let's see if I can get into something better. Here we go. One turn too late, unfortunately, but we'll make it happen. <clears throat> I'm a big fan from the Come From Behind victory. So Dan told me that he has played this deck about 70 times or something like that. So um, this is well rehearsed. This is my first time playing this deck, so we'll see how this uh, shapes up in the end. I know he has some shenanigans. All right, so he's got the one. So I think I am going to go, uh, I kind of want to get rid of the quick soak. I think it's going to be a problem moving forward. So we'll dodge her for the fight and steal. Poison wave. Yeah, I'm going to go with the dodger to get rid of that. So let's go shadows, poison wave.
play dodger. Fight into that. And unfortunately, I wonder if I should keep the urchin. I guess I'm gonna have to play the urchin for no effect, unfortunately. That's okay. All right, now we're in business. So I'm in check, let's see how Dan responds. I know he's got some shenanigans. Yeah, of course, there it is right away. He's gonna go into my dude. One Ember Steel, that's gonna put me at the two mark. And Steel there, with Ghostly Hand, but I mean this. I feel like I should just Toxin. That's not gonna get me into check, which is what I really should be doing. So we go shadows again, ghostly hand, reap with urchin, and the turn. Let's see if he's got two of the steals here. So I'm trying to put him on the defensive here. He's up one key, but he hasn't been racing as fast as he was before. I'll let you shadow, so most likely he's stealing here. So he's got Dodger for one. Dodger for two, all right. <clears throat> this is getting out of hand here. So I'm gonna have to go with uh, these. Just a gateway to start with. Steel. Play the toxin. Play the bobble. Play library of the damned. And that's that. Perfect, and I got the Fagin. All right, back to back gateways. Interesting. So that's a four power. So we're both forged, he's at seven. Can get him to six. Huh, I wonder if I could pull that off. So <clears throat> looking at the com pod play here, revealing Mars cards from hand for each reel so you may ready one Mars creature. I'm gonna play Just trying to work my way around how this works. So I'm gonna play the Ixel Bolter. Comes in ready. I should play the Mind Warper actually. So Mind Warper captures one. Okay, so we go Mars. Play the Mind Warper. Then I'm going to 
going to play the Marauder. Captures one. And I'm going to use the card's action. Captures one. And I'm going to use the Compod. Writing Okay, gotta go to manual. <laughs> okay, so now I, we fixed it. So I capture two. Um, and then I'm going to use my incubation chamber, since I can't get rid of his thing, to reveal and archive my Yixol boulder. So I took him off check. Perfect, I got the bait and switch and the fag in here now. I got a lash, Schuler, so I got options here. But I need to get rid of the twin bolting my guy or his guy. Okay, so he realized the problem with that. He's just quick so to fight in, alright. Played a random access archive, so he's at seven. So I can bait and switch for sure. Steal one. Okay. I think we just lost the game. All right, so we're back. A little bit of technical difficulties here. But we are back. All right, so um, I'm in the process of trying to take him off check, only being able to play two cards. All right, so I can only play two cards. None of these are gonna get what I need done, so I can get to six. I can go into that guy. Yeah, I can't get him off a key unless I go shadows. So we're gonna go shadows. Start off with a good old bait and switch. Play the Fagin. Dan just called me a jerk for putting off a key. <laughs> and he appreciates the nerf on that. And that's all I can do due to uh, his stupid sucky bit or ember imp over here restricting my cards. I know he's going to use Quixo this time, he's going to go logos. He's just straight up going to go uh, Quixo into my Fagin because of the elusive and then probably make Dexter go into him to destroy him. Oh, interesting. He went a different way. Oh, Skirmish. He doesn't care. Yeah. I saw that coming a mile away. Hopefully he cannot do one. Perfect. So we're going to play the Ember Imp game here. a friendly creature. All right. So go dis. Start off with the Schuler to take them off a key. And then I'm putting Schuler 
to this Ember Imp because it is annoying. Let's me check. And then I'm going to laugh when I follow up with my own Ember Imp. Guardian Demon. Lash. Yes, and then I'm going to Library of Damn my Urchin, even though I do have another Archive here because it's a Mars card, I can just Archive it again with the Incubation Chamber, I'm not really worried about that. And let's just see if I can get the, the Bobble to work. Perfect, that's going to be my turn. I got my chains gone, I'm in check, let's see how he responds. So they choose shadows, obviously to steal. And get rid of that Ember Imp because that's a problem. All right. Okay, so I got a few options here. Most notably, Devil Urchin. Um, but I think I may go with the last turn. So I'm thinking. Yep. I think I may just go with the last turn here because I can steal two and get him to six. And that's it. So let's go with a last turn. So I'm going to go this. Keep my archives. Start off with the lash. I'm going to archive um, the urchin. Um, I'm going to reap and finish off with a gateway, I think. Yep. That's going to do it for this turn. I'm in check. And then I'm just going to put a Mars cards away. Alright, so now I got some options here. Let's see what he does. This game is going back and forth. So Dan's at 8 Ember with the Lash. He's choosing this, so I'm assuming he's got a Shuler or something. He had me discard my Zorg. Wow, that was fast. Sword, Dust Imp, yep. Alright, so I'm at two keys. I've pulled ahead in this race. Let's see how we can move him off here. Um, so now I gotta race him out of here. It's in my archive. So I got the Zorg, the Yixel. The two damage creature, purge it. I don't want that. Deal three damage. All right, so I am gonna go with the um, Shadow's turn. Take my archives. Not gonna be able to go full swing here, but be able to do some stuff. Oh, do I even want to play the Poison Wave though? Because that puts him at another key right off the top. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to actually discard the Poison Wave this time. So I'm going with the uh, Double Urchin. 
reap. I'm going to hold on to the poison wave for now because I'm not going to draw a card either way, so there's no point in getting rid of that. I mean, I could go with that route. Yeah, I'm going to discard the poison wave. I'm going to use the incubation chamber to put Zorg away for now. And I can get a chain off. So he will forge. And I got a Mars turn here. So let's see how he responds. I definitely want to clear up my Mars next turn to try and get a disc turn so I can get the Lash activated the following time. Because I think he's pretty close to having some sort of shenanigans. He may even just go dis and come back. So yeah, the game's been super buggy. <laughs> he just he just dropped and came back. Yeah, there the game's been dropping in and out. So he dropped out, I dropped out, we both got back. Wild Wormhole. That's a lab work. Gains an ember. All right. Is Dexter to capture one? Oh, we had a talk about Dexter the other day, so we're going to see how, how solid Dexter is now. All right, so he's not in check. I can't use ammonia clouds. So first thing's gonna come in. So interplay stunned. Sun each non-Mars creature gain two chains. Do I wanna do that? The fact on me. Okay. Okay, so I think I know what to do. So I'm going Mars for sure. Take my archives. So, looking at the Compod combo here. Okay, so I can ready my Mars creatures. So what I'm gonna do is keep three, play three, essentially. So I'm gonna start off with the Bolter. Reap with the Bolter, bring two on Dexter. Then I real one, one, two, three. Okay, I see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna play the Dominator. Then I'm going to play the Zork. Then I'm going to use the Compod. Revealing three. So the Compod seems to break the game. Okay, so I'm just gonna ready my three creatures manually. Luckily Dan and I are on the same page with everything. So then I reap. I remove stuns. I 
I'm gonna discard the ammonia clouds because that's gonna hurt me more than help me. Play combat pheromones, put me in check. And then I'm gonna gain two chains. Stun each non-Mars creature, emptying my hand. And that's that, I'm in check. Let's see how Dan responds. Perfect, so I shuffled my deck. I got a Relentless to steal one if he goes over. Um, but I mean, he's he's got to put me off right now. So we're, we're going right down to the wire with this game. This has been a freaking awesome game. I mean, I also can go here and lash him if it gets out of control. So I have some options to put him off a key at the moment, depending on how far he goes. He hasn't gone through his deck yet. Get a cup of coffee. This has been a good uh, Crucible and coffee game. Whether I win or he wins, this has been a fantastic game. So he starts off with the Umbra, which does steal. He's at six, can he go more than that? Yep, he can go to seven. All right, so it looks like I am going for a lash turn. I'm gonna Toxin Repate. So we gotta go Dis. Combat pheromones as well. So we're gonna go dis. And I'm gonna start with the toxin. We're gonna reap that. Scarring an ember imp, I'm good with that. Then we'll play or sorry, the Dust Imp. Then I'm gonna play the Amber Imp. Um, play the Hand of Dis. Then I'm going to Lash. Use Combat Pheromones. to use Nixel Bolter. to reap again. Hopefully I'm out of position. And use a dominator bobble. I will reap again. And then I will use the Library of the Damned. Archiving that. My Relentless Whispers, and then I'm going to use Incubation Chamber to clear out my hand and archive that. So that's my turn, I'm in check. And I got the bait and switch now. Yeah, I got a bunch of ways to, uh, to put him off next turn. Let's see, let's see how he responds. This is basically Help From Future Self podcast versus Sanctimonious podcast, just FYI. This one-stop shop deck I got last night is pretty awesome. Yeah, the combat pheromones was crucial. Oh, and the game literally just crashes right at the end. All right, so Dan just messaged me that uh, I got it. That was the game. 
So everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, please subscribe if you like this. I appreciate Dan for jamming a game with me with this uh, this new deck. Uh, please subscribe and. Uh